Everybody, welcome to my little corner where there's no wrong way to play with paper. And today we're gonna work with page kit one of the whole kit and caboodle. We're gonna have some fun. I hope you're having a blessed day. I will put the entire playlist below so you can watch it from beginning to end. You can watch the past. Um, whole kit and caboodles, whatever you would like to do. I'm honored that you're here. I want to thank you for being here. I know you could choose somewhere else to be, but you choose to hang out with me and I just want you to know it means the world to me. I hope you feel like you're hanging out with friends because that's how I feel and the way I approach it because you all are truly my scrappy buddies. We have lots of fun. Okay, so let's just get right into it. If you watched me make the page kits, then you may watched me make the base a couple days ago go all the base pages um well base pages with the page kits and I explained that in that video and today we're going to complete our first layout so let's just get to it um I have taken the liberty of making some uh wood pieces a scrappy friend of mine gave me a wonderful die set I've taken the six by six pad and I've made some woodland animals, a bear and a moose. And this one is a deer silhouette. Um, I haven't decided if I'm gonna stamp on them or not. And then I've done quite a few um, words like Christmas, merry and bright, holly jolly, all that good stuff. I also took that six by six pad that I showed in um, video one with the kit and I've made some flowers that I feel will kind of mimic a poinsettia that um, and I think this is what my main embellishment is going to be um, I've pulled out my little leafy bits I've shown in the past I always have a drawer and when I have green scraps I just take my dies from my floral dies and I make a lot of different leaves and such so to do that maybe build on these poinsettias and then our title is going to be dance. I've also pulled some of the stickers off of the sticker sheet that actually coordinates with this Echo Park um, Lumberjack Christmas. So I don't know if we'll use those, but we'll see. Now I'm gonna use these Dollar Tree. I know they're probably glaring for that, I apologize. Um, alphas, yes, I said Dollar Tree. And so the title of this is going to be Christmas Dance. Because in Montana, this is of my oldest daughter, and I have her face covered because I have not asked permission to um, use this, and she's expressed in the packs that she would like me to ask permission, so I'll respect that. She's, she's a grown woman. She's almost 30, so if that's what she chooses, I will respect that. Um, but um, every year in Montana, the high school has what they call winter formal. It's always around Christmas. And um, we would always, when I was in high school, because my daughter Jessica here, she went to the same high school I graduated from. So, because while I was raised in Oklahoma, I did move my junior year of high school and I graduated in Montana. So, um, we always called it the Christmas dance. That's what we always called it. And so that's what I'm gonna call it here. They changed the name over the years and by the time my daughter graduated, it was called the Winter Formal. But I'm gonna call it the Christmas Dance because this is gonna be my charger page for page two, which I will show at the end. Um, you'll see Christmas decorations, I think. I think, Let's, I can't show them to you because I don't have those all blocked out. But, um, and I did pull out doilies. I pulled out because it is a formal dance and these are kind of give me an elegant vibe. Um, I have some white ones. Um, some are from swaps, some are that I had. Um, we usually do a doily swap every January. And this year, because we've moved, we will still be doing it on Ginger's Corner Facebook group instead of um, Love RTS, because we have moved the swaps. They have their own place to live. Um, so that'll be coming up in January. If you're interested in that, join that Facebook group. Let's see, I think I'm gonna cut this one in half. I almost always, but I think I'm gonna cut it like in thirds, right? I need a base for my title to land, okay? So I think I'm gonna go with the, out of the black cardstock. Now I just cut all of these out of um, uh, scraps. That's what I've done. And I chose these alphas from the Dollar Tree um, because they have a little sparkle, a little bling, you know? And it's a formal dance. 
Um, I, I don't think this was Jess's first dance. I think it was like, at this point, her third. <laughs> yeah, this is definitely not her first, but I do think it was maybe her third. And I am thinking maybe I should use some of these and doll them up. Let's see what happens here. We could go like this, um, maybe. And there is little bits of green in this paper on the wreath. So I also do need to make myself a journal block. So maybe we should do that real quick because I need just, just a little one. So maybe I'll do that. Let's see, let's pick a paper. Pick a paper, pick a paper. Um, let's see, something I could write on. Ooh, I could use that one. Eh, that would work. I could use my white gel pen. Why not? Let's, let's go with that. If I don't like it, ooh, I like this too. You know what let's do? No, because this is already busy like this. We'll, we'll use this. And that will go here, and this is where my journaling will be. So, my next question to myself is where should I put the other half of this doily? Um, I like that this says Christmas and New Year right underneath where my journaling block will be. Maybe up here? It would dry the eye. We can always move it, right? Okay, we'll, we'll go with that. And let's just say if we do one here, let's try to find a smaller one. I thought I had a smaller one. Hmm, maybe here? Okay, if I find it even smaller. Ooh, I like the white. I do like the white, but I'm thinking that one should go there. Don't, I thought I had others. All right, so let's do a cluster of three here somewhere. Maybe I should even go like this. Oh yeah, that's cute, but I wonder if I should do a smaller one. Trial and error at this point. <laughs> um, floral ones for me are, are fairly simple. I mean, how about if I go like this, like this, and this goes up on foam? Oh yeah, that's what we're doing there. Okay, um, florals for me are easy. I mean, really, you're just layering flowers. So, you know, if you get a little stump sometimes, don't be afraid to just layer some flowers. Um, I could maybe, maybe, maybe do a third cluster over here with just one. I could do two here, one here. That would be even, though. Yeah. You guys know how I feel about evens. I'm not always thrilled with those. I'm not going to use these because I want these florals to stand out. I think the green is gonna pop on here when we start adding some greenery. So I'm not, I could maybe put, what if I were to put a set of these three trees, just small ones, right? And I were to go, let's see if we can't make a tiny little cluster here with our stickers. Okay, these are off the sticker sheet. And what if I were to go just like that? That's kind of cute. Okay, I didn't push it down because I don't want it to stick stick, but you know what I can do. Here, let's let's go like this, right? So then it's on the wax paper and I can pull it up easy. Christmas would go just like that. Dance. Then, I don't know if I want that. Not sure about that. And I'm not sure. I think I'm just going to put two up there. Hmm. Should I or shouldn't I? I do have a few small, small ones left when I was making them. I inked them with my um, distressed ink that's called Lumberjack from Tim Holtz. So I could do just one here and just ink it. Let's do that real quick. <laughs> what else have we got to do? <laughs> you know, laundry. <laughs> I've got a lot I need to do actually, but we'll act like that's not not a big deal. <laughs> okay, so if I were to ink this up, just like so, I bet I could even maybe punch a little bit of scrap with a flower and put in the middle there of this, I still have this. So maybe if I, let's see, what is this? That's a snowflake. Snowflake might not be bad. That might actually work. 
let's let's see. Let's see. Let's let's not use a bigger piece of the real estate. And oh, see, that's cute. And if I put a little little bit of green, okay. We're not. I'm not 100% set on that, but that may work. All right. So then I maybe can find one to go here. All right, let's see. I want maybe this one to tuck here and this one to go up on foam. So then I would have one on foam here, one on foam there. So let's just kind of represent that real quick with some foam. You know, base pages can be so easy, but they're not for everybody. So don't think that, you know, oh, I'm not gonna make any page kits because Base pages just aren't my thing. That's okay. For years, I was talking with a scrappy friend. And for years, I used to be photo-based. Like, that's how I learned to scrap is you took the photos, you matched what everyone was wearing or the color that was in the photos with paper, and you went from there. I don't scrap that way anymore. But I did up until recently, I mean, within the last year or two, when I realized I don't have to scrap that way. And for me, doing it this way, the process is just faster. Doesn't mean it has to be the only way you scrap, but maybe try it and if you don't like it, that's okay. Go back to the way that you like or if you know that you don't like it 100%, then that's okay too. Okay, so you know what I do have? Uh, but do I want to bring brown in? See, if I do what I'm thinking, I did cut some brown trees. See, here's a brown tree. I mean, I really could. No, I don't think I should. I don't think I'm going to. Because then I'm gonna have to try to incorporate that color everywhere. I could, however, do a moose or a deer. What if I did a moose? You know why? Because if you see here, I still have this puzzle. We were really into shaped puzzles, like seriously into shaped puzzles for a long time. And I have an eagle, I have a bear, I have a deer, I have an elk, I have all different kinds. So this would be kind of cute right here if I were to put it down and like even go underneath this maybe, yeah. Just because, you know, the paper's already there. It gives a little something else to the layout. I could put a little black enamel dot for his eye. I think that would look good. All right, so let's bring in some green. Let's see what we got. Now, what I did, because I am no expert. Let's see, where's my poinsettia ones? I tried, I'm like, oh, I have stems like this. Because I do. So, maybe... If these colors that I have, here I see some darker ones in here, don't work, I will get out some green scraps and I'll fish out these dyes. And when I go to glue it down, I'll get the exact colors that I need. But I'm hoping I might be able to get by <laughs> and not have to do that. Oh, what a difference that makes. Isn't that just, it's pretty. All right, so let's do here. Right, I'm just gonna tuckers. That's what I call these. They're just tucking elements. And we're just going to put a few here and there and everywhere and draw it all together. Okay, so I have one here, here. I don't wanna stick one here cause it's gonna look bad. We don't want nothing, nothing looking bad with the animal. Animals can be a challenge sometimes. <laughs> they truly can. Let's layer these, let's do two of each one, and I will be using red enamel dots on this layout for the um, enamel dots. Ooh, you know what? Nope, I'm lying. I am not gonna use red enamel dots. I'm gonna do some mixed media. I have these. Remember when I bought these? So I will do both of these and just do splatters. That's what I'm gonna do. Yeah, I think that would look good. I could go ahead and, oh my gosh. Look at that. It's like, no, I'm not going in there. You can't make me. Okay. If I do decide to do some red enamel dots, then what I will do is I will um, 
put them in the centers. I might do that. I'll put red enamel dots in the centers, but then do and then do the um, mixed media dabbing for that. That would I think that would be a good idea. Okay, so there's that. I feel like with that said, I need a little sentiment over here. Now my journaling will be here. Um, I don't I don't know about this one. I don't know. I mean, I like the snowflake. I think that's cute as the center. Ooh, I have bigger snowflakes and I could put those in the center. Oh, Eureka! I could even use this size, I think. Why not? Right? I mean, enamel dots are expensive. <laughs> Look how cheap I sound over here. Okay, so look, what if I put those in? Oh, yeah, yeah. So I'm gonna put those in the middle of all the flowers. <laughs> I'll change my mind six more times. I will. <laughs> oh, goodness. Okay, but I do need to find a sentiment for here. Maybe even here, but definitely here. So let's see what's on our sticker sheet. Maybe, oh, I could just, I see December already. I could use December. I don't want December 25th, but I could use December. So I could put that here, right? And then maybe I could stick the year down here. I believe it was 2011. I have it on the back of some of the other photos. I could put Mary and Bright, this tiniest of sticker, Mary and Bright, right here. Oh, you know what I could do? Look at this little tag here. See this little tag? What if I were to put this here instead? Just put it on there, just to have. I think that would be okay. And then I'm not really doing a cluster, but there's a little something. I like that. Boy. Okay, I think that's what I'm gonna do. I, I'll straighten it up. All right, so I think that's the layout. I'm gonna go put it together. I will do the B side of it with the grid. I will come back and show you the whole thing and we'll talk about whatever I do different because y'all know it might be something. You never know. <laughs> I'll be right back. All right, so I got it all glued down and here is my second page. Um, I pretty much did everything like we talked about in the video. You'll see that I made sure um, that my cluster on this page kind of started in the same area. And um, that way I have I have a triangle right across the two pages. And like I've always said, this is usually my charger page. That's the page that you guys usually see me create. And then this one is just a grid of photos. That's all it is with a few embellishments. So I, I think sometimes I make it sound like I just slap some photos and that's the second page. That's not what I do. I mean, I do try to make them coordinate and so that they look good together, but one, there's not a lot of room for embellishments. It's just um, um, a lot of photos, large photos, because I do a lot of four by six photos. And you know, it, it doesn't matter how you do it, just have fun with it. Um, I pulled in an extra piece of white cardstock. I don't count that my page kits, I, I just don't. And then I used the other paper that I had in this page kit. This is the A side, this is the B side, vice versa, however you want to see it. Um, and this is all I have left from this kit, you guys. And honestly, this paper I pulled out to make my journaling block from the six by six. And this is the cardstock I use to mat my photos here and here. So really, all I left was just this, to be honest, but that's okay. At the end, I'm going to put them in a baggie and each kit, I will do that. And at the end, we will make page kits with whatever we, or base pages with whatever we have left. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope that you guys are having as much fun as I am with these, um, the whole kit and caboodle. This is one of my favorite ways to go through a kit because I use the kit pretty much in its entirety and I can move on and buy new kits, right? So. I'm going to um, continue this. Tomorrow we will do another layout. Then I have some things over the weekend and we'll just keep on going. All right, you guys have a very blessed day. Thank you so much for watching me. Um, give me a thumbs up if you liked it. It helps the channel grow. And with that, I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.